Nikos Morkojani's Purpose, the Starting Point of Great Companies. Unlock the Secret to Corporate Triumph with Nikos Morkojani's revolutionary book, Purpose, the Starting Point of Great Companies. In this fascinating summary, you'll discover that a company's success is deeply rooted in its purpose, a set of guiding moral ideas that shapes its business decisions. Using real-world examples like Walmart and IBM, explore four distinct purposes, discovery, excellence, altruism, and heroism that stem from various ethical traditions. Dive into the relationship between purpose and strategy, and learn how a well-defined purpose can result in high employee morale, long-lasting competitive advantage, and a strong strategic market position. The importance of purpose in business. A company's purpose is essential for lasting success. Without it, decisions will only be made with short-term goals in mind. Purpose serves as the moral backbone that guides choices between what is right and worthwhile versus what is easy. Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, exemplified the power of purpose. Driven by compassion, Walton prioritized customer service, giving Walmart an edge over its competitors. On the other hand, Enron's collapse was a result of having strategies without purpose. Their sole focus was on making money, which led to poor decision-making and concealing losses. In the end, this lack of purpose caught up with them. In business, economic brilliance and charisma are not enough. A company's set of moral ideas and sense of purpose are crucial for lasting success. The Power of Purposeful Discovery Acquiring purpose involves four forms, each with roots in ethical traditions developed by philosophers. The purpose of discovery is the first form that stems from the work of Kierkegaard and Sartre. It emphasizes constant questioning and creating something new, as individuals are responsible for their choices and actions. IBM's Think slogan and recruitment of fresh graduates embody the purpose of discovery by challenging conventions and tradition to find new solutions to problems. The Purpose of Excellence Aristotle believed that fulfilling your desires leads to eudaimonia which means success and flourishing. The optimal performance of your role in a community can achieve this as you strive for excellence. Warren Buffet's example illustrates how excellence is achieved by dedication, nurturing virtues, and focusing on the optimal performance of the role, not just for profit. For instance, Buffet's dedication to excellent investment led him to earn a whopping $40 billion. Altruism in Business Scottish philosopher David Hume's ethics of compassion and empathy are the foundational principles of altruism, which prioritizes increasing happiness. According to Hume, empathy is innate in human nature and drives our decisions to ensure happiness, not only for ourselves but also for others. Adam Smith further developed this idea through utilitarianism, where the right action is the one that increases the greatest possible happiness for the majority. This kind of empathetic behavior is crucial, particularly in a business context. Walmart's founder, Sam Walton, knew this well. His humble background instilled in him a deep sense of empathy and determination to improve standards of living by increasing access to low-cost, quality material goods. Under his leadership, Walmart's primary goal was to make its customers happy. This customer-centric approach to business demonstrated empathic decision-making on every level of Walmart's operations, which is the essence of business altruism. In summary, empathy is a critical value that drives ethical decision-making that prioritizes others' well-being alongside one's own. Heroism as a business strategy German philosopher Nietzsche's concept of heroism is a crucial ethic for business leaders, according to this book. It entails being bold, taking risks, and daring to do what no one else has done before. Only a few people are capable of this level of leadership, Nietzsche believed. Among them is Henry Ford, who achieved heroic leadership by reshaping society through the automobile. Ford exemplified heroism as a business purpose, using his company to exercise his will and ambition. He gave customers what they didn't know they needed, and pushed on with the firm belief that his products would change the world. But his power drive sometimes led him to make risky decisions such as hiring ex-convicts and thugs, 
which ultimately caused violence among workers. The book argues that heroism is a powerful purpose, but it should be balanced with other ethical principles, including discovery, excellence, and altruism. Together, all four purposes can unleash your company's full potential and take it to greater heights. Morale, the real weapon. In business, employee morale is the real weapon that drives success. Studies have linked high morale to better returns and low morale to absenteeism and low profits. To keep employees engaged and productive, companies should define their purpose, like 3M, which aimed to solve problems. This principle led to the creation of everyday products like scotch tape and post-it notes because employees were inspired to make a difference. By prioritizing employee morale, companies can achieve higher returns and create innovative products that make a real impact. Purpose-Driven Innovation The success of innovative companies is not solely reliant on innovation. Having a clear purpose is a crucial factor in driving achievements and maintaining lasting success. According to a survey conducted by Booz Allen Hamilton, there is no significant correlation between innovation and the success of companies. Purpose, on the other hand, enables innovators to take risks and change the rules of their industries or businesses. Sony's founder, Masaru Ibuka, established a clear purpose that allowed the first Sony team to be freely creative, leading to the invention of Japan's first tape recorder. Sam Walton, founder of Walmart, had a purpose of altruism, driving him to offer the fairest possible prices to customers. Walton's dedication to his purpose led him to reduce costs and open stores in disused cattle yards and bottling plants, keeping prices competitively low. In conclusion, having a clear and meaningful purpose is necessary for innovative companies to distinguish themselves and achieve lasting success. Achieving Market Advantage Through Strategic Positioning To gain a sustainable advantage in the market, a company needs to strategically position itself in a unique way that others cannot copy. This is achieved through developing routines and relationships that unite the company under a powerful, unique strategy. A company without purpose changes strategies unnecessarily and is unlikely to achieve a consistent edge over competitors. When a company has a defined purpose, it is much easier to coordinate the organization's routines and relationships. The values of discovery, altruism, excellence, and heroism serve as reliable guides for decision-making that ultimately contribute to a company's strategic position in the market. Warren Buffett managed his conglomerate with a light touch because he didn't have to tell his employees how to act, they already knew the best choices according to his system of values. Purpose is the key to answering important questions like, should we invest in product development, or what kind of training should we give our customer-facing staff? As we conclude our journey through the essential points of a purpose, the starting point of great companies, we can firmly state that a company's purpose forms the cornerstone of its success. By adopting one or more of the four key purposes, discovery, excellence, altruism, and heroism, you can guide your business towards lasting accomplishment. Purpose breeds innovation, enhances employee morale, and helps develop a strategic market advantage. Don't underestimate the power of a robust purpose. It's the differentiating factor that propels organizations like Walmart and IBM to the zenith of their respective industries, 